we're making a key fob pouch. First thing we're gonna do is put our zipper right sides together with our fabric and sew that on at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Next, we're going to fold the seam allowance underneath the main fabric side and we're going to top stitch all along the top close to the zipper. Now we're going to fold up that main fabric and we're going to put it right sides together with the open side of the zipper and we're going to attach the zipper. I like to unzip my project here because we're going to have to sew inside of that tube in order to get that top stitch on the seam that we just sewed. So you see right here I'm folding under that seam allowance underneath the main fabric side. And then we're going to sew a top stitch right there, about an eighth of an inch seam allowance away from the zipper. Take your time fiddling with the zipper here so that you can get that seam nice and flat. Then we're going to take that to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a top stitch at an eighth of an inch seam allowance in order to make a matching top stitch on that other side. At this point, I like to check my work by putting the project right side out and just double checking to make sure that my top stitch looks nice. Next, you're going to make sure your zipper is open, turn it back inside out. We're going to sew a seam at a quarter of an inch seam allowance across the bottom. Now that seam that we just sewed on the corners, we're going to flatten out those corners. We're going to make the world's smallest little boxed corners here. I smashed the bottom corners flat to make a little triangle. Now when I take it to the sewing machine, I put that corner right there at the quarter of an inch seam allowance mark just to get both sides even. Then you want to cut off the XX zipper, cut off the peak of those corners in order to make that less bulky on the inside. Now you're at the point where you can turn your project right side out. This here's what your project should be looking like. Take your zipper pull, make sure that it's pulled down far enough to be on the inside of the project. Then you're going to tuck in the top corners. Once you get those secured, you want to make sure that that's an inch across because that's the size of the hardware that we're using. Go ahead and take that to the sewing machine. Sew across the top, cut off the excess zipper. Now it's time to apply your hardware. Once you get that hardware added, you're all set. You've made a key fob pouch.